Here's a question from I'm from Pluto uh, who asks, I read somewhere that those of us born with Neptune and Uranus in Capricorn are called indigo kids or something like that, uh, or the indigo generation, I might be totally wrong, and that we'll inherit the new earth, a new way of managing things when we'll be in our 30s. What do you think about that? Well, um, that's interesting. Um, I believe that um, there is always over Earth history and human history a sort of an updating of the old models which accelerate at certain times. And by the old models, I mean models that maybe um, are more, um, you know, like modern cars, uh, in, in fact, which are very, very electronic, you know, and have got lots of buttons and bells and lights and things and a lot more sensitivity in them and a lot more electronically, which can go wrong. Um, so, in other words, they're more sensitive, but they are able to do more and more and more stuff like there are some cars, you know, that are going to be electric and that can steer themselves and, and, and all kinds of wonderful jiggery pokery. So that's a kind of loose example I would give. Um, names have been put on these uh, different types of children being born and um, uh, there's various names. There's indigo children, crystal children. Um, I think there's um, one now uh, which is octarine <laughs> as well. Uh, I think they've been coming in um, throughout all generations, but there is definitely an acceleration um, coming in in these past, I would say, 30, 40 years. And so therefore, uh, that m may be uh, just about when uh, Uranus and um, Neptune uh, uh, have been in Capricorn, but not necessarily at the very birth moment, because Uranus moves in and out of the sign over s uh, seven years. The term indigo kids, well, that came about, uh, I'm afraid I can't remember her name, but there was a, um, a, a wonderful... Um, medium or psychic uh, uh, who had a condition called synesthesia which um, it means that the neural pathways in the brain are connected in a different kind of a way so that when she um, saw a color she could also smell a smell or if she heard a sound she would see a color and um, yes it's quite an interesting sort of condition um, and she began to notice that little tiny babies being pushed around in their prams uh, and their push chairs or strollers um, seemed to have this indigo, really, really strong indigo light around their head. Well, of course, the indigo in the chakra system, the energy center on, at the brow, is a mixture of, of uh, red and blue, and that makes a kind of a deep purpley blue color. That's the indigo. And so therefore that uh, very sort of psychic, telepathic, third eye center uh, was uh, really very strongly activated in these children. And of course, it's quite tough to come into a world which is very linear and rational and left brain with that kind of ability. Because some of these kids um, can actually do amazing things like see into bodies or maybe bend spoons or, and I mean, really, it's a bit like the dolphins, you know, um, the uh, establishment type humans have turned them into party tricks, you know, like jump through this hoop uh, or whatever, you know, so they sort of jumping through hoops. But I think more and more and more um, as these kids are growing up, then uh, in your question it says uh, we'll inherit a new earth. Well, uh, uh, they are the new earth. Um, the new teaching, the, 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 the shifting in the consciousness is not coming through like a one, like an avatar, a great teacher who stands there and, you know, then followers create a new religion, which the main one in the West has been Christianity uh, for 2,000 years is going to be coming in the many and the many is this like new model of child. Uh, and, you know, the shifting will be 
uh, almost like, I'm not going to say zipless and seamless, but I'm going to say sort of like just organically e evolving. Of course, there were so-called indigo kids being born um, in much sparser numbers previous to this last 30 years. And then they had the hardest road, uh, you know, the rockiest road of all, because they came into a post-war, um, you know, those that were born in the 40s and the 50s, uh, and uh, they were very thin on the ground, but they were the system breakers, they were the code breakers, they were the ones that when they were um, in their teens and in their young 20s became the hippies, right? So, um, uh, yeah, so basically that's in a nutshell what I'm thinking about that. And uh, it's going to indeed uh, mean that this world is a very, very different place in another, say, 30 years from now, even before. So thank you for your question.